I just wanted to watch the new Dune part two last night. And to be honest, this movie blew my mind. I didn't actually make the first Dune at the cinema. I watched it a few months later on an airplane and just rewatched it last week. But I really didn't want to miss this Dune part two because of the way it has been shot, the color grading, the cinematography in it. Everything was like extremely exciting. So I went to watch it and here in Indonesia came out two days ago, three days ago, and I went to watch it last night and it was incredible. So incredible that I wanted to recreate the color grading. And I understand that obviously, you know, they have crazy makeup, crazy cameras, crazy sets, crazy lighting, but can we actually recreate these kind of settings, these kind of colors within DaVinci Resolve with just a few notes? And I think the answer is yes. So stick around in this video. We're going to go through how to create all of this note tree. Everything included in this video will be linked down below, including the way I add grain, texture, and things like glow or even LUTs. I'm going to use one of my LUTs, which is actually based off June when I made this LUT last year. But just because of you guys, just because of this video, I actually want to give you this lot for free. So if you're gonna go down below, there is a link to this free lot and you can also get my whole film lot collection, but that's up to you. This one is for free. It's the only one and it's the one that we're gonna use in this video. Let's not waste any time. Let's go right into the video. All right, we're here into DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, I have a bunch of shots selected. Let's hop into the color tab. These are the shot that I selected that I want to recreate from June. There is this one shot, this other shot, this one, and this one. These four shots are some of the most recognizable looks from Dune. One is very, this very deserty warm, and this other one is this bit of a colder white look, if you will. So these are the shots that I already graded, and there are three, six, seven shots that I already graded, of which three of them are from actual desert shots in Dubai. One is from a ceremony here that I shot in Bali. And then we have three different stock footage from Artlist that I just picked just to show you guys that you can apply this look even on a Rec. 709 or somewhere like a footage that is already been graded. You can apply this look just by following the tutorial that we're going to go through today. So what we're going to do now is uh, just quickly duplicate these clips and we're going to start right from zero and we're going to create this look. So as you can see, the, the shots that we have here, they're shot in S-Log3, s gun with 3 Cine with my Sony. And then the shot that we have here are just already color graded shots from Artlist. So let's start right from the beginning, right from the S-Log3 shots. This is a, a perfect example of one of these um, beautiful white blue hour scenes there is in this movie so what we're going to do is create a bunch of nodes as always and the first one and the last one they're going to be color space transform the first one it's going to be from s gamma 3 cine s log 3 to da vinci white gamut and da vinci intermediate the name is csd and the last one as well the last one is going to be from Da Vinci White Gamut to Da Vinci Intermediate and we're going to export, we're going to output this to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. All right, so everything in the middle is everywhere where we're going to build our look. So let's name our notes. We got our primaries, we got our colors, we got our look, we got our Dehancer and we got our Scatter. The last two are two plugins, but we can actually do this for free. I just like the look of this paid plugins a bit more, but it's really up to you if you want to do this for free or even don't do it. Really up to you. So as you can see, these are shot in Rec. 709. First thing we're going to do is create an S curve to increase a bit of contrast with this scene. And we're going to lift the blacks here. See? Just a tiny bit, just to create a faded look that Dune has. Then the next thing we're going to do is go into the color and play around with our color curves. First of all, we're going to bring down the reds a little bit. And then we're going to go into the saturation and bring down the reds and the yellow a little bit, just to 
emit that. Then we're going to hop into look first of all to add our LUT, which is desert point. Here you add your LUT and it's going to look a bit weird, but we'll get to it later. So now this is what we have and we want to compare if it's possible to kind of find a way to, you know, make this look good. So I apologize if you hear a bit of noise. My laptop is, is freaking out as always because I'm using DaVinci. So this shot, we want to kind of imitate the look of, I would say, probably this one. So we're just going to grab still. We're going to go back into here, click to gallery, and we have the shot here. So if we double click this, we can see that we can kind of have this as a um, image wipe, which means that you can drag this back and forth and just check if the color grade is good. So usually I like to color grade like this. Another thing you can do is go into the waveform. You can see the waveform of both images. And if we do move this around, you can see the difference. So the first thing I'm going to do is just lift everything in the first image to make it look the same way in the waveform. So I'm going to go back here. Just pretty much lift, pretty much lift everything up until we get that beautiful nice look i think that's pretty good okay now another thing i'm going to do is remove the blue because this film has no blues at all so it's going to the color remove all the blues here we go already this looks pretty good now a thing that i want to do let's go back to the image right and just make this a bit see there's a bit of too much orange and I know that the orange in Dune is very subtle, it's very, you know, unsaturated. So I want to bring the orange down a little bit to the yellow so that this kind of matches this. And then we're going to bring down the orange even more here. Okay. And then the next thing, we're going to hop into our primaries. And what I want to do here is play around with the highlights to make it a bit more subtle. So let's bring the highlights down with the wheel. Let's bring the mid-tones up a little bit and bring down a tiny bit of reds just so you don't get that weird red tint. And then we're gonna go into Scatter, which is our plugin that we use to add this bit of a film bloom and usually i like to use hollywood black magic and you can see before and after yeah this looks amazing and i'm going to go into dehancer i use dehancer for pretty much every single piece of footage that i have so here what we can do is just de take this up zoom in and it's way too much grain right now so we're going to go into the grain and custom and bring down the amount, definitely bring down the chroma because we don't want any chroma grain. And just bring this down until you see some sort of texture that looks good, I'd say. This is pretty good. And then we're gonna add a little bit of elation, but not too much because we don't want the footage to look too red. I also wanna move that away. All right, and I would say that this is pretty much good. If we look at this image and then if we look at this one, they match pretty well. And even if we go to this other one or this one, especially the orange tone match very, very well. So what we're going to do now is just copy this one and go into the next image, which is this one actually, which has very similar tones. So if we copy and paste this one, you can see that this works amazing. But if we go in this one, which has the sun, it doesn't really work. So what we're going to do here is uh, go into our primaries, bring down this a little bit, which are the mid-tones and the highlights, just to make that beautiful glowy orange a bit better. And bring down the shadows. And what we're going to do is pretty much move all of these colors to something that looks a bit more like this one. So to do that, we are going to, again, go into image wipe, but this time we're going to choose frame from this one so double click it okay 
So now we got the same kind of framing and we're kind of understanding how the color works. And for this example, I think I want to play around with my highlights here. And trying to reach that color using this high. Oh, that's pretty similar already. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. That's pretty good. I'm going to go into our color curves and play around with this one. Just to get to a point where this looks pretty similar. Bring up the saturation a bit more. This is pretty good. It's almost, it's kind of similar to what we created before. There's definitely less highlights actually. And the one that I made before, but I think I almost like this one better. And if you have a look at this one and then if you click onto this shot, you can see how they fit pretty well, which is what ultimately we want to achieve. So again, same process as before using the LUT, using the color, the dehancer and scatter for texture and bloom. And uh, yeah, let's just go over a couple more things. Let's go over this priest shot, for example. And this looks very yellow, so what we're going to do here is just adjust pretty much our color curve. So if a shot that you have just looks a bit too yellowish, just adjust the colors and then go into your primaries and just adjust the saturation and just the contrast of the whole image. And this could fit very well with this shot or with all of the cold shots within the movie. All of the whites are very white. The skin tones are very pale. It's just this very unique look. But now we want to edit the same thing when it comes to Rec 7 and 9 as these three images, for example. So what I like to do is I think I'm going to use this one shot. Copy and paste the grade and it looks horrible. So we're going to obviously remove the two color space transform because we don't need them. And I really like that. It's pretty much done, to be honest. What I like to do here, it's just adjust the exposure of the shot. So the highlights are a bit too intense. But I mean, if you look at this shot and then you look at uh, this one, they go pretty well together, especially look at these oranges over here and look at these oranges over here. And now we just copy and paste this one onto another shot. And this is an example that I think I actually want to copy and paste this different grade because I think it will look much better. Yeah, here we go. Adjust the colors, make it look nicer. Here we go. And this fits perfectly within this other shot and also fits perfectly within this one. One last try, copy and paste. This one, boom, amazing. All right, and there you have it, guys. How to color grade like Dune in DaVinci Resolve. Very, very simple tutorial. I hope everyone can follow along and you can try this out. If you have Artlace, download this footage and just try it out for yourself. And I hope this helped you to reach those nice, beautiful, moody tones. And that's all for this one. If you want to get that lot, it's free. Link is down below. If you want to get my full LUT collection, that's not free, but it's linked also down below. See you guys in the next one.